Good morning, friends. Happy something. Wednesday? <laughs> Look who's visiting me. Hello, beautiful. I feel like he needs a brush today. He just loves getting brushed. Oh, you're so beautiful. How's everybody today? Happy Wednesday. Oh my goodness. It has been. <laughs> Something's falling over here. It has been so busy that again, I thought, okay, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to film every day. I don't know if that's going to happen, friends. I have a lot going on. Um, I have another job perspective. I am currently in training shifts. So if it goes well, did my camera just move? <laughs> Whatever. If it goes well, then I will have a new job. So I don't want to say anything yet, because you never know, but it's looking good so far. Super queer positive store. Love the vibe. Oh my God. I'm going to have my vitamin now so I don't freak out because I've been pretty bad with these lately. Same vitamins. See that little thing there? I'm having an apple and a bagel with peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jam. And there's a difference between jelly and jam. And then there's also it's bread. Which is like, it either has no sugar or it has less sugar. So, we didn't realize that. <laughs> and we got it. But friends, sugar in it is what keeps it, like, shelf stable. So, generally speaking, it takes us a little while to eat a jar of jam. Well... It went moldy. <laughs> Axel opens it one morning and he's like, Mom, there's like white stuff in it. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? And we realized that it was spread instead of jam. This one is really floppy because I had forgotten to take out bagels last night. So it was frozen and I microwaved it. Mm. I also got a different job, but it's only like a, a one day thing for the elections. I'll be working like one of the stations. I know it's like a five minute walk from my house. <laughs> but <laughs> that's not until October. The next election. And it's like um you have to do a ton of training. It was pretty cool, though. Um, I had to fill out an application. And then if you get accepted, which I did, they sent me a link to a virtual meeting. With, I guess, a supervisor. <laughs> and that day, it was crazy. 
I can't even remember where I went. I, I know I was at the big carrot. Oh! I had an eyebrow appointment. Like, first thing in the morning. And then I'm like, oh, I have lots of time, so I'll go to the big carrot, because it's, like, right there. But getting home on the subway was a nightmare. I made it home with three minutes to spare. I was panicking. But anyway. The lady was so lovely. going everywhere. Drive me nuts. <laughs> now, I can't remember the last time that I filmed if I've been on since I went to Burlington. I think I have. Anyway, we had an amazing time. Then I went to Hamilton with my friend Doris. Well, to meet my friend Doris, because we met, same kind of a thing. A friend introduced us, mutual friend, and we've been talking ever since. So she invited me to go to her place in Hamilton for the Festival of Friends. We had an amazing time. I went for the weekend. I left Friday morning after breakfast. We went shopping when I got there for groceries. And she was so sweet. She bought like certain things for me. She asked me my favorite fruit. So basically at every meal we had some different fruit. Cantaloupe. Not cantaloupe. Pineapple. Grapes. Cherries. It was so nice. And had all kinds of vegetables, raw vegetables with dip. Oh, so good. Anyway, a Friday evening we went to the festival. We saw Serena Ryder. It was an amazing concert. We walked around to see some of the vendors. But by the time the concert was done, it was late. Like, I want to say 11 o'clock or something. So... Even though we went to see them, I didn't buy anything that night. So, the festival was the whole weekend. But, when we say hot, that's an understatement. It was like 40 degrees, or maybe 41 degrees. And you're in an open field at this thing. It was at Gage Park. Oh my god, it was so disgustingly hot. Like, you're just sweating. Your whole back will be soaking wet, especially because you're carrying a backpack. Anyway, so we went back on Saturday just to check out the vendors. I bought an outfit. Yeah. Excuse me, which I actually thought was a dress. So, it ended up being a romper. I love it so much. So, I might actually wear that today. I'm doing a trial shift again at my job, so, potential job. Um, and then we went, uh, she took me to Jackson Square, which is like this little mall, because we were going to get, she's so sweet, we were going to go and get a boba tea. 
a bubble tea because she did some research and found out that there was this little bubble tea place there. She had been there many, many years ago. Anyway, we go all through the mall and she's like, I swear to God, it was right here. It was closed. Now, we're not sure if it was because it was just closed for the weekend. It was mid-afternoon or if it was just closed because of C-19, like places are closing, right? The reality of this stuff. So, uh, we ended up at a freshie. Was it a fresh or a freshie? Whatever. One of those. I think it was a freshie. And we got uh, just a smoothie. And it was so nice and cool after being out in that heat. Oh, my Lord. The buses there are so nice and different from here. They're long. Most of them are double-decker. Not double-decker. Double-length. And some of them are triple-length, I think. And you just use your Presto card, so I didn't even have to buy, like, anything special because I have a Presto card here. And I think it's two fifty five for a ride there. Here it's three twenty five. So, and all the drivers like say hello to you, and they like talk to you if you're the only person on the bus. Like the whole conversation, like during your ride, and um, just the actual people are so lovely. It's not like here. Some, well, I mean, obviously we have some nice people, but not very often will you get on a bus, and the bus driver will ask you how you're doing. Um, only ones who do that here are the ones that I know now, just because I'm on their route all the time, and I will talk to them. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and then, uh, we went, went back to her place and had dinner. We were going to go to the waterfall thing, but it was already getting late. I think it was like 7 o'clock or something. So we watched, um, Blindside. If you haven't seen Blindside, The Blindside... Please watch it. Amazing movie. So inspirational. <laughs> it's about the Tui family. I love them. I follow them on uh, Instagram now. And then Sunday, uh, it was the long weekend holiday. Sunday, we just relaxed for a little bit. Then we went on another road trip. Oh, no, wait. We didn't relax until the evening. Got up in the morning and I said to her, I'm going to look up a place that we can have breakfast at. Because I wanted to treat her to breakfast for letting me stay at her place. So, uh, I look up vegan gluten-free restaurant in the area. Well, it tells me there is a place called Planted in Hamilton. I think I only looked up vegan, actually. Let me tell you, this place was vegan and gluten-free and amazing. The whole menu. And I'm talking like this massive... Big, huge, like, fold-out leaf-style menu. So amazing. That being said, on Sundays they serve brunch, so there's only a little bit of the menu available. Amazing. I had French toast. I have not had French toast in the restaurant since turning vegan. I don't even think the Bistro had French toast. So since I've went vegan, and that is now, I don't know, 13, 14 years... I've made it myself, but I haven't had it at a restaurant. It was so delicious. Doris had waffles, and then we shared uh, home fries and sweet potato fries. The mic's off. <laughs> okay. And um, it was just so delicious. It was just a really, really nice treat, and we sat and enjoyed it. And the place is just beautiful. <laughs> So that would be a definite return. Every time I go there, we'll probably go to... Mike's back on. She's getting on my nerves. Um, And then we went back to her place and just relaxed the rest of the day. And then because it was a long weekend, I ended up staying until Monday and just leaving Monday morning after breakfast. But again, such a good time. Like, I'm so happy that I've met new people during the pandemic. Because... You never know how things are going to go. And I was so isolated during all of this that you end up really making good friends if you do find a friend online. Because obviously, we're asking each other all kinds of questions and what we do. She's from Down East. Hello. She's from Cornerbrook, Newfoundland. So she's good people. Um, the mutual friend that introduces is also from Newfoundland. Because I said to her, I'm like, I need some more Newfies in my life. 
So she's like, I have a friend, Doris, who lives in Hamilton. I'm like, okay. And we ended up chatting. Anyway, um, and I've been out with Kim, who actually is leaving for a trip on Thursday. I'm so excited for her. For two weeks, I think. She's going to PEI. So uh, we went out last week for dinner. I don't think we have time this week because she's leaving Thursday. It's okay. We'll go when she comes back because she'll have so much to tell me about. And other than that... I've been going to karaoke every Friday. I went to drag bingo last month. I'm going again this month. And now they've got uh, open mic Tuesdays. And they added Mondays for karaoke as well because Fridays are so popular. I haven't been to the Monday one yet. I think the first one was last week anyway. And they're doing some other event with um, one of the drag queens from the drag bingo. And it's for it's called Camp Wanakiki or something like that. So that is starting on the twenty fifth. This is Cece's Bar and Grill, by the way. If you haven't been there, please go. If you're in Toronto or in the GTA, it's worth the trip. It's at Coxwell and Danforth, and I'm going to plug away because it is so much fun. Karaoke starts at nine o'clock, and I'm telling you, it is popping. Like there's so many people there. So many people and such talented singers. Oh my gosh. And it doesn't matter if you're talented or not. So don't freak out if you feel like, I don't have, a, I can't carry a tune. Nobody cares. People get up there who can't sing for crap and we still sing along with them and they have a blast. Doesn't matter if you mess up the words. Doesn't matter if you can't sing. Doesn't matter if you want to get up there and hum along. Nobody cares. Just have fun. Love it. All right, friends. Still at Torrid. Worked yesterday. Had an awesome shift. I actually was with my uh, manager yesterday, who I haven't seen in so long, because she's been working at the Upper Canada Mall store. <sighs> busy, busy, busy. All right, friends, I love you. That's it for today. Have a great day. I love you. Thanks for watching. You're awesome, and don't forget it.